Hey everybody, Joey with Tactical Response here. Thanks for watching. Uh, what I wanted to bring back, <laughs> bring, I'm bringing it back guys. Um, Midwest Industries Tactical Response Edition Rifle. Uh, all the time, not all the time, but often enough that I decided to do this video, we have people ask about what rifle they should get. And there's any number of, of rifles that, you know, uh, are awesome and are excellent rifles. But I don't know if people have just forgotten, and I think I talk about this on the range whenever we went out and just, I just shot a few mags through this. Um, but I don't know if they've forgotten or don't know, but, but James reached out to Midwest Industries and literally had a rifle made the way he thought a fighting rifle should be made. So why not start with the tactical response approved Midwest Industries um, AR. I mean, listen, you don't have to take my word for it. <laughs> this was built by James. Some people want to know what I think and why. Well, what I think is that uh, Midwest Industries makes the best AR-15s. I know there are other good ones out there, but <laughs> they build them the way I want them. And uh, this rifle runs and runs and runs. If you guys have taken classes with me, like when I've trained with other instructors, you've seen these rifles, this rifle and other rifles, my students' rifles running. Um, but, uh, but this is it. This is what I think the ideal uh, AR-15 is. I think this is what the ideal modern Minuteman's rifle is. And I think anybody would be well served having a setup like this you don't have to get this exact setup but this is what i think an ar-15 where, where it shines people will say to me do you recommend the tactical response ar or this other ar and, and i'm like do you mean do i recommend the one that i personally spec'd out each piece or something else midwest industries rifle 18 inch barrel now this rifle is set up uh, as a backup rifle for my Minuteman uh, kit and it does not have a laser on it at PLC on it right now, but it's set up for that. That's why it looks, the lighting is different than my other rifles, but I'll start at one end and go to the other. I love Magpul furniture. Got this Garmin on here uh, in case I need to get somewhere or to get lost. <laughs> uh, I've got this on here. Uh, SOE single point sling. I mean, sorry, two point sling that has a tourniquet pouch for our rat's tourniquet will go right in that bad boy. Aim point magnifier behind the aim point. I believe that the best sighting system for an AR-15 is something like this, a dot and a magnifier. I have uh, Midwest Industries sights on here and uh, front and rear, and the, the front one has the uh, excess sights um, front stripe with tritium in it, a uh, spare bolt, a firing pin and cotter pin, and some breakthrough uh, breakthrough clean grease in the in the butt stock of all my all my fighting guns surefire scout up front uh, with a tape switch for the laser and ir 18 inch barrel and uh, people are like why an 18 inch barrel because i want this thing lethal for the for that full 300 yards full length rail on here a lot of guys like shorter rails i want the longer rail all right guys we get asked all the time either whether it's from people who own guns already or first time gun buyers or what have you. But basically the question is, what rifle should I get? And there's any number of, of quality rifles that you can, can find out there, I'm sure. But I just don't know if people forgot or maybe you don't know that James worked with Midwest Industries to help build a rifle like to his specs. So if you're looking for a fighting rifle, you can't go <laughs> you can't go wrong with the Midwest Industry Midwest Industries rifle that James helped put together. So uh, we have one right here, like fresh out of the box kind of thing, right? Um, tactical response edition, all that good stuff. Oh look, a hat. So I can just go ahead and just replace this one. Good, excellent. And that's the important thing. We'll see you next time. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, uh, so this is the tactical response edition rifle, like all that good stuff. I don't have the specs in front of me, so I'm going to go back to the shop. I'll probably, we'll probably end up editing in a tabletop version, but this is what we're looking at right here. We've got our thinker logo right there on the, on the magwell there. Of course we've got fight and ready. And is there anything else on there? Nope, Midwest Industries on that side. But again, James James helped 
pick all of the parts and pieces and kind of to his specifications on, on what he wanted out of the rifle. Yeah, you're getting it nice and hot, but this is an awesome, awesome rifle. I had honestly forgotten how nice this shoots. I've got the one of the 25th anniversary edition rifles. Uh, it's actually what I ran at the Tactical Games. Had a blast shooting that, and, and I think that as far as fighting rifles go, you cannot do... You definitely can't be wrong by picking this one, and you may not be able to do much better. So... That's really all I've got for you guys. I just wanted to remind everybody that if you're in the market for an AR, and specifically if you're looking looking for one that you are going to use as your go-to gun, your fighting rifle, um, check out Midwest, Midwest Industries, dude. They make really good stuff, and again, this was kind of put together by James and what he thought should be in a fighting rifle. Uh, so we, we went out to the range. I probably shot two or three mags through it. Nothing crazy. Um, so anyway... That's what we got. Remember, guys. This is James Jacob for Tap Response, reminding you that your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends.